I actually can't believe I didn't come up with this myself. Hi, I'm Martin, this is Not Enough Tech and thanks uh, to a suggestion uh, from one of my YouTube viewers uh, I'm making a notifications, well actually the controls uh, in the navbar so you'll be able to control your playback uh, directly from the navbar and I'm using Google Play Music in this example however with a small modifications you should be able to use any other media apps as well there are two conditions and I'm going to talk about them in a moment but first, uh, let's have a, a quick look over this in that showcase. This smart navbar works with Google Play Music, but it can be adapted to other streaming apps as well. Now, when the media pl uh, playback is detected, you'll get smart navbar controls for music playback. Now, these, uh, apart from basic controls for the music like pause and play, change the tracks, go back, and they update dynamically, which means changes made to the navbar or changes made uh, through the playback stream via Bluetooth headsets or via notification also update in the navbar itself. So when I press the uh, buttons, the navbar changes reflecting the, these changes. Now the navbar disappears when the playback is dismissed and also there is a, a second option to double tap on the uh, play and pause to stop the playback of the music and dismiss the navbar itself. This is standalone project uh, made in Tasca. However, you can use it as a part of a bigger project called Smarter Navbar. It has a six different actions that you can use in a navbar and they're gonna be linked together in the next video. It's supposed to be this video, but I came up with this uh, music solution as a bonus, so I'm doing it first so I could add one more smart navbar action. Now, before we jump in into the tasker and how everything is done, I have to uh, talk about uh, dynamic updates. Now, you've noticed in a um, showcase, I was able to toggle uh, the playback from both sources and update the navbar as itself. It took me a moment to actually figure out the proper way of doing it because I couldn't intercept the action, the action was scrambled, and I couldn't intercept the actual icons uh, from the notification in here because they had contained the same path as well, which was useless. So uh, in order for this uh, dynamic version to work, so it would uh, show you current state of the playback, I'm using the property of the notification itself. The notification is not dismissible when the music is playing, so I cannot dismiss it and it's dismissible when the music is no longer playing and those two properties are needed uh, for the navbar to update correctly so if you're using any other um, media apps uh, if they work in the same way which probably most of them would uh, you'll be just fine now let's go and uh, take a look at the tasker and what I've done in the tasker in tasker I have three different profiles now two of them, they are responsible. This is the music create music play and create music pose are responsible for displaying correct navbar. Now the navbar itself has a couple of uh, different actions. So let's uh, showcase the actions first so you would understand what is the difference. So when I'm playing the uh, play navbar, uh, it will display uh, as if music was already streaming. So I will show you the pause action. And if I display the pause action, it will basically change the middle icon into something else. Now, this is because I needed to intercept uh, the notification using auto notification. Now, an auto notification is set in such way that the persistent only notification uh, display the playback associated with the music playing because that notification is persistent and another is another one it displays the basically a uh, notification from google play uh, music but it responds to only non-persistent notification and this is the notification when the music is not playing so let me just get that here 
So this is display. This is a non-persistent notification, and I can dismiss it as you can see. So I'm not going to uh, dismiss it now. And I use that basically to get the information whether the music is streaming or not, and dismiss the action. So in the last one. I'm using a notification cancelled action with cancel reason, basically most of the reasons possible out there to cancel and restore original navbar. So those are my profiles and then let's jump into the tasks. So uh, I needed to create each task for every uh, playback action. So I have a music play, I have a pause, I have skip, I have back and that's pretty much it. So uh, before we're gonna jump into it, I just wanna talk about music play and pause. The music play and pause are really the same ones apart from changing the uh, information about what's gonna happen in the middle um, task. So in the middle task, I have a music pause and I have a double tap to kill. So if I want to stop the music and remove the nav bar, I just double tap and I execute the kill uh, task. So let's go back. Uh, and for the pause, it's basically the same. It's just displaying a different um, ND music play instead of ND music pause. So that's the main difference between these two uh, actions. Now, uh, Tasker comes with a set of controls for playback. So it was very easy. All I needed to do is assign icons to each task and use the media control action to create the play, to create the pause, etc. Etc. There is no uh, difficulty in here, it's just a single action and some flash to confirm this is working. For the reset, I'm just using a plain reset. So, first left is back, uh, center is home action, and to kill, I'm using kill up uh, with a boot on to kill the Google Play Music and restore. The, and once the music, the Google Play music is killed, then obviously the notification isn't there and the music reset action will kick in. So it's very simple once you figure out how uh, to update this using uh, dismissive and no, non dismissive versions of the application. And that's pretty much it for the task part of it. If you want more information, in the description of this video, you're gonna find a link. To the article. The article itself contains more information about the project, project files, descriptions, etc. Now, I don't have a posting schedule, so if you want, just follow me on social media to get notified whenever the new article is out. And if you're interested in videos only, use the YouTube notification system, that bell icon, uh, to keep in touch and not to miss my videos. Now, as for now, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you look forward to the Smarter Navbar project that will wrap all those six, no, six, one, six, six actions together and that's gonna be in the next video so for now thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care